I'm not missing that dedication in Jerusalem. You know how much I sacrificed? The blood of this covenant over it, I can't. How much money did you pay for Tyler Perry's Gulfstream jet, for example? Well, for example, that's really none of your business, but... Isn't it the business of your donors? Listen, I paid. <laughs> hey, listen, that pause right there is one of the more scarier pauses I've ever seen in my life. If you guys ever watch a horror movie, that's the pause before the demon gets inside and it takes over and the killer... And the absolute psychopath comes out. I, just look at the man's eyes. It looks like he has done no good in his life. The man can lie on the name in the church, Jesus Christ. And he continues to take money from poor people that are basically caught up in the faith and the Lord. And hoping one day they can themselves get the blessings of jesus as well but unfortunately this man is a crook yeah I do it. Delicious. delicious polishing it and these two two young men came up there and they, they're both preacher preacher boys you know came up and said brother copeland is that is that the new airplane i said well it's not new but it's new to me they said oh think about that the lord's airplane i said no it isn't Huh? I said, no, this doesn't belong to the Lord. He gave it to me. I dedicated it to him, but it's mine. Uh, he made it. He made that airplane so cheap for me, I couldn't help but buy it. You figured out by now God doesn't need your money. He's doing very well. But the reason he insists on it is so that he has the opportunity to enter into our affairs and then turn around and bless us and spend it all back on us. Huh? I said, no, this doesn't belong to the Lord. He gave it to me. Getting back to the comment, you said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. We wrestle not with flesh and blood. I'm going to finish her nice and slow. In plain sight, this man continuously tells his people that I am doing whatever I want with the money. I bought the plane. This is not God's plane. This is my plane. This is mine. It's just the eyes of a demonic character. This man is running around and he's absolutely causing chaos. Like, the glare in his eyes looks... It's scary, bro. It is scary. You know, we just don't know what this man is doing behind closed doors. But he is worth a lot of money. And he continuously tells his people to donate, donate, donate. But at the same time, they have no idea where the money is going. It comes to a point where you got to put your hands up and question the whole industry of the churches and the poor people that are in the pretty much it's a cult. Because a lot of times they know they don't know what they're doing. And without it, they feel lost, which is sad enough that they feel lost and they're not able to, you know, follow their religion the way they need to. But anyways, what do you guys think about this, man? To me, this is super disgusting, but to each his own and whatever it is you guys want to um, partake in, that is for your liking, but kudos to you.